What's up my YouTube family? I'm back with another quick and easy recipe. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make some banana pudding ice cream with these simple ingredients and it will be flavorful and you will love it, your family will love it, whoever you give it to is gonna love it. So I got my condensed milk, my heavy whipping cream, my box of vanilla wafers, some French vanilla pudding, instant pudding that is, two bananas, you want them to look exactly like this. You're gonna get the most flavor out of them. I got some cinnamon, I got some vanilla extract, and I got some nutmeg. So let's get to crushing these cookies, then we'll get to making the base of our ice cream. All right, so you wanna get you a Ziploc bag and just dump the cookies in there, but leave a few, maybe about a handful. Make sure you don't crush them, just leave those to the side. All right, so here's a better look of what you should leave behind. This is about between anywhere, anywhere between 10 to 15 cookies, you know, for later on use. So for now, we're gonna crush these up. You can either roll these out flat inside of the bag and use a rolling pin. Maybe I should do that. Or you could just pound them until they are completely crushed. Results. Okay, so here's the finished results of our crushed cookies. You don't want it to be crushed too, too uh, small because they'll just disintegrate in the, the ice cream uh, base when you're mixing it. So don't do that. This is perfectly fine because when you get those bites of cookies and bananas in your ice cream, you're gonna love it. So we're gonna sit these to the side and now we're gonna slice our bananas. All right, so I'm just gonna peel this off. Ah, you know what? The fact that that broke is actually okay because I do need for it to be broken anyway so I can put half of it in the ice cream. So that's absolutely fine. Ah, another one broke. You know what? That's fine too. Because guess what? You can work around it. All right, so... What I will do is, being that I only need half of, and you know guys, make sure that you get the strings off. I should have peeled it from the bottom so I can prevent this from happening. So if you guys know that trick, well that hack, peel your, peel your bananas from the bottom so that you don't have these stringy parts left on it. All right, so let's get rid of that. All right, so remember what I said, I'm going to just leave half of the uh, bananas, well, of one of the bananas, but you wanna slice them thin. You don't want them too bulky. Let me show you. See, so about like that is fine. Oh, somebody trying to get away. All right. My bananas are probably not as uniform as I'd like them to be. But you know what? It's fine. So I'm only gonna cut a little bit of this. Let me get rid of that part. Because I still need half to mix inside of the ice cream. All right, so we're gonna leave that for the ice cream and the rest of this we're gonna put into this bowl and we can actually put this in there and use it later. All right, so we're gonna start our ice cream base now. Okay guys, so to my chilled stand mixer, I'm going to be adding the heavy whipping cream. Make sure you get all of it. Now we're gonna add our condensed milk. You wanna make sure you get all of this too. Now you want to add in your pudding mix. Let's add in our vanilla. Nutmeg. Cinnamon. Now we're going to let this mix all together. 
All right, guys, once you started to get your mix together, you want to add in that half a banana. Now let that banana mix in. Let it mix anywhere from five to six minutes until you get a soft peak. Okay, it looks like we are finished here with our ice cream base. So I'm gonna turn this off, drop this down, and you can already see that there's a slight peak there, well, a medium peak, that's what we want. See how smooth that is? All right, that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna detach all of this, and we're gonna fold in our bananas and our crushed cookies. But before we add in our crushed cookies, guys, look how good this looks. And I've already tasted it, definitely. <laughs> I had to. The flavor is amazing. All right, so now we can add our cookies and bananas. All right, guys, so we're going to add our crushed cookies. You don't have to add all of them at once. And we're going to fold that in. Now you want to add the rest. There you go. Now you want to fold that in. Okay. That looks good to me. Now you want to add in your bananas. Yeah, baby. This is going to be so good. I can smell it already. If you are a fan of banana pudding, this right here, you're going to love it. Trust me. Just want to make sure those bananas are through. This better. Okay. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments so far. And also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do post any new videos. Yep, yep, yep. So now I'm going to get my freezer safe container that I had chilling for about 30 minutes now. And we'll put the batter in. Okay, so here's my freezer safe container. It's actually an ice cream container. I'm going to be putting this batter in. And also, I won't be putting any bananas on top because I kind of don't care for that because I just feel like, you know, it, they turn brown and then you just have these hard pieces of banana laying on top of the ice cream. And it's not that, you know, appealing looking like it. I just don't want that. <laughs> like, definitely not. Man, I cannot wait to eat this. All right, guys, let me fix this up and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we have our ice cream in the freezer safe container, we're going to be adding those crushed cookies that we reserved to the top. All right, guys, so here is the finished result of our banana pudding ice cream. I will be placing this into a freezer with its top for four to six hours or until overnight, which is preferred and best. So I will see you guys when this is completely done and we're ready to have some. Before I put this in the freezer, I just want you guys to see how wonderful and delicious this looks like. This looks amazing. <laughs> All right, now I'll be back. Guys, see how good this looks? It's 
nice and creamy and flavorful. Make sure that you give this video a like and a thumbs up. Definitely comment below and let me know what you think of this recipe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.